In this HubSpot CRM demo, I go through all the various features inside of the HubSpot CRM system. I explain what these features do, and then I explain how they may be useful in real world business, how they may help your business. So by the end of this demonstration, you'll hopefully be familiar with what the HubSpot CRM system looks like, and also whether this is the right CRM system for your business. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we do get into this demo, if you are signing up to HubSpot for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my sign up link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the demo. So once you log into your HubSpot system, you are firstly going to be presented with the home screen. Now, if you've just signed up to HubSpot for the first time, your home screen may look slightly different. I've customized mine, as you can clearly see here, and this is showing data as soon as I log on to the system. Now, you can also do that, and I do think this is a very useful way of getting to see exactly what you need to do from the moment that you log on to the system. You can see all the data points, all the tasks that you need to complete, and it's a great way to start your day when you log into the system. So as I said, this is the home screen, and moving on from here, we have got all of these drop down menus up the top here. And these are the different areas inside of the HubSpot CRM system. And as you can see, they're broken down by marketing, sales, servicing, workflows, reports, and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll just walk you through each of these and some of the key features in each of these different areas. If you are after a tutorial, more in-depth tutorial, check out the YouTube channel, this channel. Um, I go over lots and lots of different parts of HubSpot CRM. So you're more than welcome to have a look at those if they would be of value. So as you can see, I'm on the contacts area. And from the off, you can see we've got contacts, companies, we've got calls, targets, accounts, target accounts, activity feed, and lists. I'm just gonna focus on the contacts and companies just to give you an idea of what that would look like inside of the HubSpot CRM system. So I'll click contacts, and as you can see, I am on the contacts page. Now at the top, we've got different contact views. So here you can see we've got all contacts, my contacts and unassigned contacts, and you can add additional views and you can filter with these views as well to only show you specific contacts that match criteria if you'd like to. We've also got filter information as well, so we can filter uh, filter different records to see again specific contact records that match certain criteria and as you can also see we have the list now if you have lots of contacts inside of your HubSpot CRM system you will just get a long list going all the way down the page and it will contain all of the relevant information you can clearly see here when you do go ahead and click on any contact you'll be presented with this screen now this is where you can go on into in-depth management of each of your contacts or each of the records. All of the records inside of the HubSpot CRM system are gonna look very similar to this. As you can see, we can go ahead, create a note, we can create an email, make a phone call, we can log a call, email, or meeting. Again, we can go ahead and create a task, or we can schedule meetings all from the HubSpot CRM system, all for this specific contact. You can see here the website activity, there's been one visits and two pages viewed for this contact. And on the right hand side here, you'll be able to see any deals, tickets or attachments that are associated with this particular contact record. In the middle, you've got the activity notes, emails, calls, tasks, meetings, and just all the general activity here that we just spoke about on the left hand side. And you'll be able to see what's been going on. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you would manage your contacts on the day to day. If I click back out of contacts, we'll go to the drop down menu again and head over to companies. This again is the same idea. Obviously contacts are the individuals and then companies are the people, uh, sorry, contacts are the individuals, companies are the businesses. So the actual accounts that the contacts are associated with. So again, you can see CRM crew as that's my business here. You can see it's exactly the same and you can see all the deals, tickets, attachments that's related to this business. And then obviously with the contacts, you can see who's related to the contacts as well. So you've got all these other areas for the contacts. If you'd like to find out more about any of these specifically, like I said, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. We've got conversations as well. And this is a general means of communication, such as inbox, uh, as an example, the inboxes where I'll click on it just to give you an example. This is like a, like an email area, but it's for your email, your chat. You can have phone calls as well, where you can communicate all using 
all of those various methods of communication and you can manage those all from one place. So when someone goes onto the website, your website, and they start a chat, you can go ahead and respond from this area. If they want to schedule a phone call, that can be managed from here as well. And if they email, let's say, info at crmcrew.co.uk, you can have that targeted to enter into this inbox area and then that can be managed. So it's a very useful tool. All of these tools here are also useful. We've got email templates, things like that. So you can check those out if you'd like, again, on my channel. And then on the marketing side of things, the one thing about HubSpot is it's very, very powerful from a marketing perspective. You can do a lot of marketing. Um, unlike a lot of CRM systems, I feel like HubSpot really goes the extra mile in terms of the marketing. So we've got ads, we can manage our ads, that's Facebook ads, Google ads, things like that, all from our HubSpot system. We can manage our blog, SEO, and we can integrate our social media if you're on the paid version of HubSpot. We've got landing pages that we can create, and we can also send out emails directly from our HubSpot CRM system. I'll use this as a good example. We'll just click on this. You'll be able to manage all your emails that you're sending out. You can draft them, schedule them, send them, and obviously see any archived emails. And then you can also get the analytics on your emails as well. And this is all free, all inside the HubSpot CRM system, which is unlike a lot of other CRM systems on the market at the moment. So you can see here how many emails have been sent, your open rate, click rate, CTR, reply rate. Uh, you can see any bounce uh, information as well. So there's a lot of analytical data that you can access from the HubSpot system, all free of charge. Going back to the drop down menu, you again, you have campaigns, file and templates, you can use call to actions and you can add those to your website and also forms as well to capture information or capture leads when they go through on the ads. And then from marketing, we have our sales. So we've got deals, forecast, tasks, documents, meetings, playbooks, quotes. So quotes fairly obvious, you can create quotes and they link directly to your deals area. So obviously you create a quote for your deal, send it over whether they, uh, they approve the quote, whether they're happy with the quote or not, you obviously negotiate that and try and persuade them as best you can. We've got meetings, which is identical to a platform called Cadently. Hopefully you're familiar with that, where you just schedule meetings with one another without that ongoing email communication. We've got documents where you can store documents on the HubSpot system. We've got tasks, and this is literally like tasks as in managing tasks that need, need to be completed. And you've got a whole page dedicated for that inside of the HubSpot system. You've got forecast, which is the sales forecast or sales forecasting to get an idea of what your sales are going to look like in six months, two years time, things like that. And then a key part of any, uh, any CRM system is obviously the deals. So if we click on the deals area, you'll be able to see we've got our sales pipeline from the qualified to buy all the way to our closed one or closed lost. You can drag and drop any of these deals from one stage to another. Now, as you can see, we're on the Kanban view, but traditionally this view would look like a list view. And again, that is identical to the contacts and the companies that we saw at the start of this demonstration. But I am a massive fan of the Kanban view. I feel like it's very visual, far more interactive, um, and it's a lot easier to manage as well. As opposed to having to click into every single record, you can just drag and drop from the same screen here. You can move the record to each of the different stages very, very easily. And then hopefully you end up closing this particular sale or all of your sales if you're lucky enough as one, but I have a have an inkling that unfortunately won't be the case. So that's our sales area. Moving on from our sales, we have our tickets. We've got feedback surveys and the knowledge base. A, a few of these features that I've discussed are part of the paid version of HubSpot. The tickets area is in fact free. I've done a video on that, but I will also explain it. Essentially, you log a ticket anytime there is an issue with a product or a customer's got a question or anything like that, you go ahead, create a ticket or otherwise known as a case in some other CRM systems. And again, just like the sales, you drag it through the different stages of the pipeline where you inevitably look to resolve the problem that that client has or answer the question that that client has. Again, we're on a Kanban-like view here. You can just view the tickets as a list of view as well. And you can see the pipeline that it's related to. If you're on the paid version, there are multiple pipelines. And I strongly recommend, especially with tickets and sales, depending on the product, if you've got various products and the sales pipeline for the products 
are vastly different, obviously you would look to then create multiple pipelines. So it, that would be the same for products and the sales side as it would for the products on the service side as well. So hopefully that is of interest to you and um, that's cleared anything up in regards to the servicing area. Obviously feedback surveys, you'd be familiar with checking if you've done a good job or not. And then a knowledge base is kind of like um, your own Google for your own product. So people can search questions they may have in relation to your product and you can build out your knowledge base all from within HubSpot CRM. And then we've got workflows. So workflows, this is an automation. Um, there is also sequences as well as part of an automation package. Um, I'm not sure which package that falls under, but I've just recently done a video on the automation side of HubSpot CRM. Feel free to check that out, but it's essentially just reducing the workload that your team would have to do on a daily basis. So it's a very powerful tool when used correctly um, and can save a lot, lot of time for your team. And then finally, we've got the reports area, and this is like analytics tools. We've got dashboards, reports, data sets, things like that. So this is a great place to get an insight into what's going on in the business, how the business is performing, how your sales are doing, how your tickets and resolving issues you are doing as well in that respect. So this is a great place where you can look and get data and analyze it and improve your business using that data or using that evidence that you've collected over time. Now, finally, if we go to the top right hand corner here, we have the cog and that is the settings area of HubSpot CRM. This is where you can manage general information, including adding new people to the system. And we can change certain things like add additional fields to uh, contacts, sales, things like that to track specific data for your business, which is, of course, very, very important, in my opinion. And like I said, we've got integrations available as well. General information, we've got security notifications. We, of course, can integrate our email address and we can integrate our calendar with HubSpot CRM as well, which is very, very useful. It means we can email um, out of the HubSpot CRM system and anytime we create a task, it will it will update on our email as well. So there's lots to the settings area inside of HubSpot. I don't wanna go into too much detail but hopefully this video has given you an insight into what HubSpot would look like, how it would be for your business, whether this is a suitable product for your business. Um, and I will see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you're now familiar with the various features inside of the HubSpot CRM system, how they could work for your business and whether this is the right CRM for your business. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all helpful, please consider giving this video a like possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop me a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.